Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica. Today I'll be discussing with you one hour daily cleaning routine. And the reason why I'm so excited about this is that because the day that I actually get to do this one hour a day story, I actually feel that my house is more peaceful, it is more calm, and there's nothing that stresses me more than actually coming home to a very dirty house and then go to bed and the house is still that dirty and I still haven't tackled it. And I can honestly say that it is the most motivating to know that when you come home from work or wherever it, whatever it is that you spend all your time on, whether it is staying at home with your three kids and schooling them or it is doing a, um, side hustles at, or it is working from home or you've got businesses that you are busy running, whatever the case is. Now you think of having to go home or be at home and actually clean up all that mess and it is such an exhausting idea, so exhausting to think of, oh I've got to spend those hours cleaning and if it's just one hour it is not that bad. You come home from, say for example you come home from an, working at the office for nine hours or ten hours and then you think about cleaning and it's just, oh it's just an hour, I just need to spend an hour, pick, a, pick an hour, so it is you have your supper and you you get your kids ready for bed or you are um, you just finished relaxing and then you just say okay, now get that one hour done and dusted and then the whole the rest of the evening is mine and it is so much more motivating to know it's just one hour now you can there's two ways you can break up that hour and you can maybe have it 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes for lunchtime and another 15 minutes or half an hour or 45 minutes later and if that's how you want to break it up it's fine or if you want to look or search on the internet and there's plenty of them and uh, we have different um, schedules or you have different lists of routines and you can start off with five minutes in the bathroom five minutes doing this five minutes doing that and if that's what you want to do or if that's the sort of phase that you're in or if that is what motivates you by all means. I personally am off the list phase. I actually don't see, um, I used to be a list person. I've gone off that phase. It actually drains my energy having just to think about what to put on that list and to go off that list. But for other people to mark it off and to tick it off and to, that, that motivates them and good, go ahead, go do that. But for me, I actually prefer just to look around and get it done. So I feel, I don't know about you, but when it comes to a timer, it's that's what gets me going i put on that timer and there i go and i move and i go through all the rooms and i check to see what it is that needs to be done so i, I don't get distracted i don't get um, more focused and i don't stop and i do other things in between and i lose track or i'm on social media and i lose another couple of hours there or i'm distracted by the animals or the cats or, or the children or whatever it is or a show that is on so that timer actually works and you carry on from the time that the timer goes off after that you put the timer on to the time that it actually that you, it goes off like you actually hear it go off and i've actually used the one on my phone i uh, my, sorry the one on my watch and i prefer to use it because i can keep track during the time how much longer i need to go and finish up or do things and i feel that if i once i hear that or feel that alarm going off it's like so I look at the top five. My top five is um, dishes. You need clean dishes. You need so it's all about hygiene. So you need clean dishes. You need clean laundry. You need a clean bathroom. You need your carpets to be clean, and you need a clean bedroom. So I find that if I focus on those areas, my house always I'll stay on top of the hygiene part of the family of the cleaning and what have you i won't worry about the walls i won't worry about the sticky marks here and there yes they need to be tackled but not right now what needs to be tackled right now is all those top five of mine all done if they are done yes then i'll go and wipe all the walls down or wipe all the sticky marks down or i'll you know do something like that but my first focus is the hygiene of the house so it has you have to get have dishes you have to eat you have to um, have clean laundry you have to have a clean toilet and basin you have to have clean sheets and pillowcases to sleep on and 
you have you have to have clean carpet. Um, the worst thing is if you look at the carpet and then in the weekend you're like, oh, what was that? So get on top of it. Make sure that's part of the stuff that is done. Um, I also feel that if you work, spend too much time on all of your um, on all of the cleaning throughout the day, you can feel totally drained, and then you're just like, oh, I've been working for three hours a day, and the house is still a mess. But if you tackle it one hour every single day consistently, it won't be that messy, and you can keep your weekends for the more detailed cleaning or you can schedule a certain time for the more detailed cleaning maybe even 15 minutes that detailed cleaning a day if that's how you want to do it but as long as you're you've got that general clean one hour a day okay now another thing to note is you won't go to your boss or if you are working for a boss you won't go to your boss and say Oh, I don't feel like working today, so I'll give it a skip. Or I'm so tired, I'm so unmotivated. So you still gotta go to it. You still gotta grind those nine, ten hours or whatever it is, and you still gotta put in that effort and be there and be present and be doing your what you're paid to do. So it's the same with uh, coming home. It is the same with cleaning the house. You. Your house needs at least an hour just to be functional. So why don't you, out of all the hours that you have, why don't you just allocate one hour for your house every day, regardless if you're tired, regardless if you don't feel motivated by anything, regardless of how you feel, just tough it up and get it done. Then it's also about looking after your position. So if you're going around looking for what there is to do, going around the room, your eye will automatically go to what is the dirtiest and what needs your attention. As long as you're looking for it, you'll find it. Now, if you've got something, an appliance, a kitchen appliance, for example, that's been lying out there and you know it needs to be cleaned, you've just been ignoring it. Your eye focuses on that and you actually wipe it down, you pack it away and you put it away. It is so much better than eventually eventually sitting there and scrubbing it with harsh chemicals, using elbow grease and eventually you've worn out that item so much so that it is better that you just chuck it out. It is not worth keeping that worn unusable item anymore. So by actually cleaning every single day, you're wiping down, packing away, you are actually preserving your positions and you're making sure that your goods or your belongings are actually well looked. On that note also, please, it's very important to note that perfection is not key at this time. Later on, yes, you can scrub every little corner or every little baseboard or every little um, area in your house that actually needs to be spotless. But at this point, it is just a matter of get it done. So as you don't need to worry about, oh, the wall there in front where I'm doing the dishes or whatever needs to be cleaned, or the floors need to be cleaned or whatever. Your focus is on dishes, all the dishes are done, and that is what needs to be done. So get rid of the perfection, get rid of making that light shine so brightly that it's better than every, anybody else's light and what have you, or making sure that that's, um, whatever, I can't even think of it right now, but that it shines and sparkles and it's brilliantly clean. Get rid of that idea right now. Right now, it's just about getting it done, making sure your house is clean for hygiene purposes. Number one is always hygiene. And thereafter, you can go for the shiny and the sparkly and the whatever it is that, that makes your house a wow factor. I told you in the beginning that I don't do this every single day. So it is pretty much because I've been putting it off. But I am going to take the accountability task and I am actually going to put it out there that every single day for the next 30 days I will be doing my one hour. And afterwards I'll be posting a video of how this actually has changed and if it has been as dramatic as what I think it's going to be. Um, Please join me on this challenge. Let me know how you're doing, uh, what you 
use as a motivation and if you spend an hour or more on your house and how does that make you feel how does that change your your household how does that change the way you live um, I will be doing this challenge and obviously now I have to because I put it out there um, and I will definitely let you know and keep you updated and um, yeah let's let's get it done let's get it going I hope you enjoyed this video and this discussion and I do look forward to seeing all your comments and what you have to say about it and please like this video subscribe to my channel and get to click on the notification bell so that you can you be the first to get my video okay love you all bye bye